Okay, everybody. Uh, well. Welcome back to this LP of Pillars of Eternity by Robust Clavicle. So we went through a little bit of character creation before. Um, I wasn't sure which character to pick, uh, so in the end I used a random dice-like thrower, a coin flipper, and um, the result was that I'm going to yes. be playing as this barbarian character, Super Troll. Now I did mention That's previously that um, this character does not enjoy wearing armor or clothing, <laughs> much of any kind. Uh, so that's going to be a particular challenge. His damage reduction is zero currently. Um, he's using a great sword. Um, and over time I'm just going to try and add uh, as much extra armor bits to him as possible. Um, to improve attributes perhaps or uh, other things that will help him to stay alive. So without further ado, of let's course. go ahead and start our journey. Is it? I got a couple of gold pieces by selling his existing equipment to this guy. But I'm going to be using what you need? Kaliska here as my main tank for sure. What is it? I'll have your water soon enough. Stream's yes. not going anywhere. Okay. Doesn't ask for any water, but thank you. What you need? Let's check by those outcroppings. Roger. What is? Ah, here we go, a young wolf. Okay. What is it? You gonna get his attention? You? Okay, that's uh, a barbaric yell. It terrifies the wolf. So for now, just see if you can flank him. What you need? Good. Okay, that was great. <laughs> Went better than better than I hoped it would actually. This is it. I just feel like as soon as he starts taking any hits, there's going to be problems. Well, what is it? Follow me. So I use the line formation so that she's got more chance of being up in front uh, when we come across enemies so she can act as the tank again. I really don't want this guy to take many hits without armor. Okay, so let's go find this water. She said it was down here somewhere. You know, a lot of people have said that the graphics, they find the graphics for this game to be bad, that it looks dated. But this, that's just not my experience at all. I find it really beautiful to look at. The visual effects that they've made, especially for the spells and for the environmental effects, are really beautiful. Some of the scenes you see are quite stunning. I haven't finished the game yet. Um, I'm, I've worked my way into sort of Act 2. Um, but I've said it, uh, in the beginning that I'm certainly no pro at this game. And I've probably got a lot to learn about it. So if you see me making mistakes and doing stuff I shouldn't do, what don't worry surprise. about it. Sparful went hunting. At least you left the water skins. Come I on. don't think you went hunting. Oops. Okay. So I don't think that was a wolf that did that to him. Ambush. Okay. You 
you've got a bow, you've got a, he's a melee. So let's first of all distract. You take, you knock down the melee and you go and engage that hunter in melee. Mm. Nice. Okay, let's see what this does. You come down here and help. Okay. What you need? We have to get back to camp. Good job, guys. He's only got 54 hit points as well. He's got a large amount of health. Oh no, he's got a lot, sorry. He's got 54 endurance, but he's got quite a bit of health. Beer, oh yeah. Yes. Right, he'll have that right now. He likes his beer. What you need? So I wonder, is it worth exploring here a little bit more? Or should I just go back there and report back to the caravan master? Seems the camp is under attack, so we should head back there. Mm -hmm. That's one damage reduction, okay, that's great. Let's do the same as we did before. You knock down that melee. You go and engage yes. that hunter. <laughs> and keep it quiet. We'll go and help the tank in a bit. That's fine, she can take it. Well. Nice. And we'll do a yell. Looks like he's really had a go at the people in this camp. The Glen Fath and Leda. One of them, towering and severe, with a thick beard, tasseled with knots, holds a wet blade at the neck of the man he recognizes as Hirden, the last of your caravan left standing. Okay. Lay down your arms. Do not forfeit this man's life for a fight you will lose. Okay. This barbarian is not one to lay down his arms, and he's not one to surrender. You were just going to try and kill us all either way, why should we make it easy? Many things will happen. The only one you can be sure of is that if you hold your weapons, I will drain his blood upon the ground. So I say again, lay down your arms. Yeah, don't, don't trust them. They need to kill us all. Yeah, I think so. Brigands. We'll see whose courage is the mask. Okay. So we've still got one hunter and two melee. Can you please go and engage him? In the meantime, you go and engage What's the you need? hunter. Aha, uh -huh, he's still alive actually. He's got bruised ribs. What's this? Blinding strike. It could be useful. Do it on that melee. And he 
he's blind. Great. Okay, focus him. Come on, you need to knock this guy down. around the camp, electric and volatile, upending pots and rattling tents like an angry spirit. Redeemer's body stirs and with great effort he raises his sagging head. Get inside! Run! Yeah, I think that's a good idea. trails behind. Shit. Yudin's not gonna make it. Okay. If I throw my weapon then I lose my sword. That greatsword is the only thing he's got between him and his enemy. I don't think that he would throw his sword. Sorry. Wow, he had almost killed by some kind of smoke. Get inside. I'm just drinking some tea here. It's a beautiful summer morning. Okay. The ruins of Kilant Lee. It's a pity that Hidden isn't here. I'm not actually sure if it's possible to bring him through or not. But it would have been extremely helpful to have a third person, especially a rogue. Let's stealth a bit. Um, so we can ambush anything that we find, and also find traps a bit more easily. Someone else has been here. We should move. Well? Camping supplies, great. A mace, not great. And... A hammer and chisel. Good for scripted events, mm -hmm. I think. Small shield, which you're already using, and a torch. Okay. Keeping an eye out. Those tiles look suspicious. Let's be careful. I agree. Hmm? As you wish. I've got a feeling that we need to sort of disable them first. So let's have a look mm -hmm. around. Well? What you need? Crossbow. Leather armor. 
An Anguithin Relief Gem. Looks like an eye. Could be useful. Uh, a torch and a journal. He's got an, uh, sounds in a genuine Anguithin artifact. If he's right about this gem leading to a hidden treasure, then that's worth sneaking past if he painted elves. So it's inside silently where we are. And the gem will help us to get that, uh, closer to it. Mm -hmm. Keeping an eye out. Zarup. I guess Saurips are sort of like little kobolds from D&D. &D. They seem like small sort of lizardy guys with a tail. Back off, lizard. Fool. Knocked on him. Mm -hmm. like. Wow, she's taking some damage. Fatigued. I've only got two hunting supplies at the moment. Um, our health is still really good. I'd rather not use one of the supplies just yet. Wait, do you hear that? A scolder. Hmm? One thing I like about the inventory management is that you've got this unlimited stash, which is much that better looks than weak. Could be a shortcut. much better than previous versions. Uh, for example, Icewind Dale, where inventory management was constantly a pain. Let's use the hammer and chisel to weaken it. It's going to fatigue them, but carry on. Um, I think I'll end the video here then. Uh, in the next one I'll try and figure out how to get past this tile set. It looks very much like a trap to me, <laughs> so I'm not just going to walk over it. I'm going to explore around the edges, see if I can dis disable any of them or deactivate the trap itself. Um, so yeah, I'll do that next time. Uh, thanks for watching and see you later.